The views expressed in this video presentation are my opinions and not necessarily the opinions of guests and others sharing or reposting the video. The content is produced for educational and informational purposes. Do not regard any statements in this video as a recommendation to buy or sell any investable instrument discussed. Investing comes with risk to loss of principal. Always conduct your own research and seek guidance from a professional investment advisor. I am not a professional investment advisor. I'm Dollar Will. Let's see. Before we uh, get started, I'd like to thank everyone for getting me to the 4,000 hour mark uh, in my march toward uh, monetization. Um, I'm a long way off from the 1,000 subscribers, so I need your help to get me there. Um, because once I get there, post I'll be able to post some more videos because I'll at least be able to pay the internet bill off of this because I have to have some way to justify the time I'm taking away from trading. So I would like to do more, but it costs me money to come away from uh, you know from the from the computer, from the from the market. So like, comment, subscribe. Uh, hit that alert bur that alert button besides subscribe so you can get uh, timely um, videos about actions you may want to take in the market. Okay, now that all that's out the way, let's talk cryptocurrency. What we have in front of you right now is Bitcoin. In my opinion, Bitcoin completed a five wave count. I think I went over that in another video. I'm not going to recount the five waves. Um, Bitcoin started somewhere around a nickel, it went up to twenty thousand dollars. A move that that extreme, it's you know it's only logical that somewhere in there you're going to have that five count. But I, it, it's there, and I did the same thing with Ethereum, Litecoin, and Ripple. They all look like they completed a five count. Okay. Now, an Elliott Wave theory after uh, well, that five count is a part of a it's a fractal within a larger wave, and that five count means that in this case, it's the completion of wave one, and that what comes after one two. So in Elliott Wave theory, the odd numbers go up in a in an uptrend, and the even numbers are. Uh, or counter their counter trend uh, they go down and in Elliott wave theory it's five ways up three ways down and we have here a B C so we count the fives up is one two three four five we count the the counter trend ABC is uh, using alphabets a uh, confusing point in Elliott wave theory people will count the counter trend as a five count too. Some critics of Elliott Wave theory say that's one of the reasons why Elliott Wave is, you know, garbage, bunk, it doesn't work. Um, it, it works as long as you know that the official rule is that you should count this as A, B, C, or um, as opposed to one, two, three, four, five, then you're good. It's 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 a trivial point. It doesn't really matter. You're going to end up at the same point. Um, if, if following my method, it doesn't really matter because in the end, we're still going to use a trend line. We're going to look for engulfing candlesticks and things like that to confirm. We'll be using the, the stochastic oscillator. We'll be doing. We'll do the count on the oscillator as well. So it gets to be a trivial point. So don't let that throw you when you see people counting differently on the uh, counter trend moves. Now, uh, more on the count. You see, let's see that Elliott wave theory. Or wave, wave move. Waves move uh, in fractals. Okay. So I said in the in the A in the count in this counter trend this ABC move is ABC the first part A 
the A fractal of the ABC contains the ABC within itself. A, B, C. And then this is A, I guess that little red would be B, and then that's, this is C, and then this downtrend, you, there, there is a uh, A, B, C pattern. Okay? You can see on the stochastic indicator I have in the bottom, which is a momentum indicator, you can see A, B, C. A, B, C. Moving to now. We're in the C fractal of the A, B, C move. We are in what's called overbought territory. And that's anything above 80 on, on the stochastic scale. Anything below 20 is oversold. When we come down here to uh, below 20 in the oversold area and the black line crosses, uh, this orange, orange line, I guess, we'll see where we are. If we get down here and we have a crossover in the oversold area without making a new low, that, that suggests that my count is wrong. And we could be going higher. And so combining a crossover with, say, a break of a resistance trend line that I'll put in, that's when I would change and admit defeat, admit I was wrong. And, and you would have to buy the uh, up move and, and, and go with the flow of what the indicators are telling you. you know. But we're not there yet. So... As of now, this low here is under attack. Will it hold? We don't know. I believe it will fail and keep going. But, you know, I reserve the right to change my mind when we get there. So that's, you know, you don't want to get your ego so committed to a particular point of view with, uh, with counting these trends. You use all these tools to kind of help you get there. But... Five. Uh, once you complete a five count and enter into wave two, the wave two wave two is is a significant correction to wave one. Wave two can can go as low as 80, 90 percent or more. So it can return as you know as all just about to the start of where Bitcoin Bitcoin began. So that's the bad news. The good news is, I'm not saying that it will. I'm not saying we don't know. I'm just saying it could go that extreme. Um, the the um, good news is following wave two is wave three, and wave three is the most profitable wave in Elliott Wave Theory. The whole name of the game for me in Elliott Wave Theory is to, is to catch wave three and get out before wave four because wave four if this is wave one wave four will come down in the area of wave one without dropping below wave one that's too much money to give back so the goal is to catch wave three that's why up until now i am not i do not own any cryptocurrencies um, because i didn't have enough chart data I didn't feel comfortable with the amount of chart data I had to be able to figure out where we were in the wave uh, count. And I also know that that uh, because the wave 2 correction is severe, I didn't feel that it was necessary to chase um, Bitcoin. So what's happening is all the scared money is getting beaten out right now. And there will come a time to buy it. And that will be wave 3. And that's when you're going to have the big money, the banks, and, and the long money, the serious money in the world. They're going to jump into these cryptocurrencies at that point in time. There will be other major macro reasons to be in Bitcoin. Uh, I believe at that point in time, the U.S. dollar is going to be significantly higher than it is right now. And it's going to be fat and happy. But no one will believe that the dollar will hold its price. And I'll be just as pessimistic about that as everyone else. And at that point, people, this is my opinion, at that point, people will be looking to things that will rise as the dollar falls. And those things will be um, cryptocurrencies, some cryptocurrencies, 
and uh, metals and um, oil, gold and oil. And you've uh, I posted videos about those already too, and I will be doing another one about gold. But that's gold is going to take we're going to be the topic in, in in the in the near term. It's going to steal the show to have everybody talking about what's going on with gold. I believe gold is going to fall significantly, and just as um, cryptocurrencies are going to be the investment of the future, gold will be uh, be the investment of the future as well. But that future is not now. Both of them, in my opinion, along with oil, are going to take a heck of a beating in the near term between now and you know spring or or Memorial Day. They're going to get beaten to a pulp, and at that point, I'm going to be all over them. <laughs> I can't wait. Okay, so that's that. I don't really have to take you through all that the degrees again. You we got a support here for Ethereum. The price came back up and tested support. A B the B wave confirmed that this support has now become resistance. And you will see that a lot in uh trading. You'll put a you have a moving average serving as a as a price support and then when the price falls through it, it'll come right back and confirm that that what was once support has now become resistance and for me just from past experience I know that's A, B and here we come with C let me see let me go back to Bitcoin for a second on an earlier chart I made a call around the, that we we should go to like the 4,000 area we'll see I'm still kinda keeping that as my um, plan A that that um, Bitcoin is going to go fall to just below four thousand. We'll see. That looks a little close to this uh, A wave, and that violates. Um, that's too conservative, according to the theory about how far um, that Bitcoin is supposed to fall. So, I I this my four thousand call would be best case scenario if I go by classic definitions of how far it should fall we're talking near you know back back to the penny area okay or single digit you know uh, the dollar you know in that area extreme extreme you know ex extreme low so but we'll see how that goes but back to ethereum so we got a b c um we'll see how far that that falls and stochastic is telling us here a, B, and that rolled over. So you never want to, when you see a, a cross over like this on a stochastic, you don't want to bet against that. That's, that's, that's pretty um, dangerous to your money, <laughs> betting against that. I'm looking at light, what is this, Litecoin? Same thing, A, B, and the crossover, we're in the C wave. And this low is under attack. We'll see how far we go on that. You know. If you haven't hit that like button or subscribe, hit it. Hit that alert. I need the subscriptions. And here's Ripple. I like Ripple. I mean, not as, as something to buy later. Um, it seems... I, I, it's, I'm not an expert on crypto, but as I read what Ripple is, it, it makes sense to me. <laughs> this sounds like something of real utility, you know? And I may be running towards Ripple once it's, you know, once, once, it, once it completes its downturn. So we got A, B, C. We don't know how far that's going to be, but you don't want to bet against this crossover. It's really no need to um, me to, to, to to beat the dead horse here. You keep seeing these red candlesticks, and you keep seeing this stochastic pointing down. It took it took from January fourth to 
uh, February the 6th to complete the A leg. So you're talking about a month. We started this downturn uh, February the 19th. It might take a month to complete the C leg. So a month from now, we may we may um, be where we want to be. That's the good news. It's bad for people that's holding on to this. They're gonna you know take a beating. But the good news is, it won't take long. That's what that I am excited about. How fast the cryptos move. That you can you can you can make a mistake and lose a lot of money. And I'm not afraid of volatility. Okay, it's you know hey you can lose a lot of money in a short amount of time. Um, but if you if you apply the rules of chart reading and technical analysis, you can also make a lot of money in a short amount of time. You can't you can't have it one way and not the other. You know that that dog that dog will bite you know both ways. So you know I think it's a good thing. That's all I have. Stay tuned for uh, other videos about the Dow. Um, and what's going on with that, and like I said, uh, gold in particular, and the dollar, um, I should get to those videos, some, one or, or all, at some point today, like, comment, subscribe, hit the alert, I'm out.